Dear friends, we are in Dhammapada, Koda Vagga, Anger. Stanza number 221. Kodang jahe vipahaya manang sanyo janang sabba matikka meya. Tang nama rupasming asajja manang akinchanang nanu tapati dukko. Brief meaning of this stanza is put away anger, abandon pride, overcome every attachment, clinging not to mind and body, and thus be free from suffering. This stanza delivered by the Buddha because of Venerable Anuruddha's sister. Venerable Anuruddha is one of uh, great Arahant monk. Especially, he was specialized with supra-mundane power, magic power. So one day, after ordination of Venerable Anuruddha, his relatives came to see him. This happened a few times, but his sister did not come to temple. Questioning by others, he found out she is not coming because she has kind of sickness. Inquiring about her sicknesses, found out she had a skin problem, kind of rash she had in her skin. She was worried to see others. She afraid to come to the society, hanging around with others because of her illness. Then one day, Venerable Anuruddha invited her to come to the temple and then he advised to her. The advice was build a place benefits for travelers who are going here and there. You can open a place for Mahasanga and other travelers who need some uh, place to rest their self. Then, following Venerable Anuruddha's guidance, she built up a building, big hall, to make comforts for the travelers. When she finished that building, she invited to the Buddha and all the disciples, most of, I mean, over 500 disciples to that place. She was offering lunch for Buddha and the 500 monks. At the end of that offering, the Buddha was giving Dhamma sermon using this stanza. She was able to attain sainthood, first level of sainthood, sotapanna, stream enter. Not only that, she was able to get rid of her sicknesses. Then Buddha explained what was there. In previous life, she did some mistake. She was a queen of the king. There was another uh, queen for that king. This lady had uh, anger or jealous and unwholesome thoughts to that lady because she was very beautiful. And then she put some kind of poison ivy without knowing her, and she stepped on that poison ivy, she slept actually, 
top of uh, in that poison ivy scent then she had a rash in her face she was very upset because of her appearance ugly looking now that lady was very unhappy but this lady was guilty for that so somehow she finished that life and she became a brother to venerable anuruddha somehow as a result of that unwholesome action she she was paying for that unwholesome action in this life suffering like this so with the help of that the guidance of venerable anuruddha she was able to get cure from that uh, sicknesses and then finally she was able to attain sotapanna first level of sainthood listening to the buddha's teaching in here in this instance seen all the background stories seen the unseen reality the buddha said put away anger anger is very dangerous if you are willing to be happy if you want to maintain peaceful mind particularly about this uh, in inner peace you should put away your anger abandon pride there are reasons to be pride your young age would be reasons to be pride to yourself your wealth your power your profession your job and your family members your uh, wealth and health even health all these reasons can be reasons to be pride to yourself but which is dangerous so you should abandon your pride overcome every attachment overcome every attachment in here the first thing is anger anger can arise in your mind in different ways so and so blame me he is doing still he is blaming still he was and he is he will be not only that my family members friends relatives she was blaming she is c o he is and he or she will be for my relatives friends family members in this manner you can gain your anger you can develop your anger in so many different ways keep in that anger in your mind first you are thinking about yourself in past present and future then you ready to think about your closer one parents relatives friends family members and your siblings or your brothers uh, your uh, uh, children making all the relationship keeping those things in your mind you ready to develop anger to that person someone which is dangerous which is harmful and also pride that is also dangerous you ready to develop your prideness in different reason which is not something that you can be happy overcome every attachment and attachment in previous stanzas we learn what would be situation because of your attachment 
tannaya jayati soko tannaya jayati bhaya your desire is the reasons to have fear desire is the reasons to be fearful person now overcome every attachment means when you overcome when you able to get rid of all these attachment from your mind you can be free from all suffering cling not to mind and body even don't think about this is my body this is me it is also cause for suffering so when you are free from all these unhappy unwholesome thoughts anger pride attachment and clinging then you can free from suffering no more suffering you are free from suffering you are happy person you can be a happy person not only that because of that happiness because of that uh, clean and clear mind you can see things very clearly you can realize the truth you can realize the truth what is truth chatur chaturarya satya four noble truths you can see what is suffering cause for suffering end of suffering the path of suffering to end the suffering you can see all these things very clearly because of that clear clean mind take one example when you are living with anger how would be the nature you can't think deeply your blood circulation is very high blood pressure is very high would be very high so you can't do anything properly in that moment when you are living with anger when you are not able to think rightly and deeply your blindness would be there when you are blind what you can do you can do nothing then what kind of practice would be there dangerous harmful practice would be there because action is not clear your action is not based on clean and clear happy thoughts as you know manopubbanga madamma manosetta manomaya the mind is the leader the mind is the forerunner we do each and everything under the guidance of your mind under the influence of your mind so when you do something with the clean mind you have good results when you do something with the ugly mind polluted mind you have bad results jati sangapate bijang ta disang harate pala what you going to show that is the things that you can read so wicked mind means you have anger you have pride you have attachment you are clean this is the nature of wicked mind you can't gain nothing with this wicked mind because it is polluted it is blind it is very dangerous so we not supposed to maintain that kind of mind because you can gain happiness through this kind of uh, mentality we all are willing to be happy that is our goal we have main goal for our life to be happy we do every and each things to be happy you go to parties for what to be happy 
You go to movies for what? To be happy. You are taking vacation for what? To be happy. You are buying houses for what? To be happy. You are buying cars for what? To be happy. You are, you are earning money for what? To be happy. Each and every action based on your happiness. But if you are living with anger, you can't be happy. If you are living with pride, you can't be happy. If you are living with attachment, you can't be happy. If you are clinging mind and body, you can't be happy. This is the universal truth. Whether you're Buddhist or non-Buddhist, it does not matter. You're going to suffer a lot if you have these things in your mind. This is the nature of mundane mind. Anger, pride, attachment, clean. These are the nature. When you are living with this nature, then you suffer in a lot. You have a sorrowful life. You don't have any reasons to be happy because all these defilements are always driving into wrong direction and you are engaging with unwholesome activities and unwholesome thoughts. How you can be happy? It is impossible. So then, to be happy, what we, what we should do, we should reduce all these defilements from our mind. First thing, as a first thing, we should reduce. Then, as a result of that training, we would be able to eliminate all the defilements from our mind. That is the greatest achievement that we can do that we can achieve. When you are able to eliminate all these, all the defilements, that would be the moment that you can establish your happiness. Wherever you live, it does not matter, you can be happy. Because you don't have anger, you don't have attachment, you don't have pride. So, now you know why we have sorrowful life. If someone say, if someone says, oh, life is miserable, life is full of unhappy, life is full of suffering, then you can see the reason. That person live with anger, that person live with pride, that person, that person have attachment, that person cling, mind and body, this is the secret and reason to have unhappy stages. So, practicing Buddhism means we are trying to get rid of all these defilements from our mind. All these defilements are, defilements are living in our mind undeveloped mind. So we are developing mind means we are trying to get rid of this unhappy, unwholesome roots from our mind. Then first thing, we have to recognize these thoughts. If we are not recognizing how we can get rid of this, it is impossible. So we should get rid of all, all these defilements First, as a first step, we should recognize them. Recognizing them, yes, we can get rid of them. So, now our duty is to develop our mind, to see these roots, and we can get rid of these defilements, put in our effort, which we call right effort, right effort. Then starting with the right views, you can see things very clearly and you can recognize what is wholesome, what is unwholesome because we have right views. 
And then you can develop right concepts, perceptions. Then you can pay full attention, developing your energy to get rid of these unwholesome thoughts and unwholesome situations from your mind. So practicing Buddhism means applying all these methods and developing all these steps, noble eight pole path steps. We are trying to clean our mind. That is our uh, goal. That is our practice. So practicing Buddhism means uh, we are trying to see our anger. Seeing that anger, we are developing our thoughts. No. Anger is harmful. I don't want to keep anger with me. I don't want to get rid of this anger from me. This is the way how we should develop our energy. This is the way how we practice Dhamma. Seeing pride, oh, it is harmful. I don't want to keep. I don't want, I, I want to get rid of my frightness. Attachment. You can recognize your attachment. Recognizing your attachment, you can pay attention to develop your energy to get rid of that. And this is the way how we can establish happy, peaceful mind ourselves. And this is the way how we can realize the Four Noble Truths. So I think that would be enough for today. Dear friends, the path is very clear. Let us practice to gain this happiness ourselves. Anger is one of anchor for our sansaric journey. We are circling in this sansara, birth and death circle. One main anchor is anger. So we have to work against our anger. That is our duty. That is our responsibility and obligation. We born to this human world to see these things. So we have to use this human, as human beings, all these opportunities to get rid of suffering. So let us practice for that. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. Let us use this opportunity to share merits with others. First of all, think about departed relatives, friends, family members who departed name or passed by the power of these merits and metta thoughts. May they all be well, happy and peaceful. May they be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Whoever is suffering from COVID and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits and metta thoughts, May they all be well, happy, and peaceful. May they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain, having that aspiration. Make blessings upon them, saying, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. May you all be well, happy, and peaceful. All your wishes come true by the power of these merits and metta thoughts. May we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of Nibbana, having that aspiration, say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By means of these meritorious deeds, may I never join with the police. May I join always with the wise until the time attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realms of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent.